we're checking out another King Bolin product from the King Bolin family of products. This specific one is the S500 Smart Scan Tool. There are three variations of this. There's an S500, a 600, and 800. This is on the lower, like on the mid-tier standalone scan tools. This is on the lower end of that. So we're gonna look at it today and ask the question, is this a good DIY tool? Is this something maybe a shop should purchase? Uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So let's go ahead and un unwrap this. That. And there we go. Let's take a look inside here. Okay, so here's our actual scan tool. There's that. And I'm going to turn this on. Let's see if it's charged out of the box. Okay, so we'll let this sit and turn on. And what else is in the box here? We have our manual and we have charging cable, USB-C, so that's always good, and our OBD2 connector. So what we're going to do is go out and my 05 CRV, check engine light on, so we're going to go check that out and see what's happening with that. And we're going to double check to make sure this thing is fully charged, and uh, we'll be right back. We are now in our 2005 Honda CRV, and we have the S500 hooked up here. And some of the features of this thing, real quick, it has oil light reset, brake light reset. Um, what's the other one there? Steering angle sensor reset and electronic traction system reset. With that, we're actually going to go in and check engine lights on. So I'm going to turn the car on and go to OBD. There we go. And what this is going to do is it's going to connect. There's a couple different uh, formats or protocols, forgive me. And it'll fail through these and eventually it'll get down to the 9141-2. So you'll see it fail through these. It'll take a minute. And so it actually vinned. So that's the VIN of the vehicle. It says that there's one data trouble code, so we're actually going to read that. And I'm going to click OK. And let's actually read that fault code to see what's in here. Okay, so P0420, that's actually a pretty common one for O2 sensors, so I'll have to look into that and possibly replace one of my O2 sensors. And also in here, you can read and graph live data. So read live data, and I'm just going to grab, I actually do not know how many I can grab, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of random stuff. Well, we can't use a vehicle speed sensor, but I just grabbed a bunch, so let's uh, click OK. And I'm going to start the car here. There we go. So we're seeing our throttle position sensor, air intake. It is saying the malf malfunction indicator lamp, basically the check engine light is on. And here's our fuel bank. And if we wanted to graph any of this, I'm gonna click the little graph symbol. And I believe if I give it some gas, yep, there we go. And I'll go back. I'm assuming if we do this here, we should be able to see, yep, see it adjusting as I hit the gas. All right, so let's see what else we can do with this. We're gonna go ahead and end this session. Now there is an entire diagnosis section here. Let me turn the car off. On this right-hand side here, there's a little button for American. So to filtered, that's actually really nice because it filtered to all of the different vehicles. Let's do Asian. Oh, okay, so there's Honda right there. And this is a 16 pin OBD2 in the United States. And I found the VIN, you're making model. 
Okay, so what we want to do, we could do a full health report. If you are a shop and you're using this, it would go through every single computer in the car and action them and, you know, reach out, like connect to it and see if it would respond to them. And with that, we're not going to do this. We're actually going to go to system selection. And I was thinking we'll check the SRS, the airbags. So we want to turn this off and then yep, turn it on. Forget the beeping again. Okay, so it's telling us it is SRS equipped. And let's look at the fault codes here. Okay, so no trouble codes. And then we'll exit. And here's our PDF. If we were a shop owner, we could give this to a customer. Let's read a data stream. Uh, let's see here. So data trouble code, latch detect, driver seat position sensor. So there's a bunch of different options in here, and I'm not going to go in here and click click on these, but uh, you can actually watch the entire system, like if I were to put my seatbelt on and whatnot. So really handy feature here if you're chasing some kind of uh, airbag issue. But with that, let me go back home here. And it takes you back to this screen. I'm actually going to, I want to go to the main home screen here. There we go. Now there's also a maintenance section here. And this is where you actually get to the brake reset and the other resets here. We're not going to do any of that today, but you have that option with, with this S500. So to wrap things up, the King Bolin S500 for standalone in the mid-tier, lower and mid-tier, it's a good unit, a good choice for a DIYer, or if you're a shop owner and you need a quick second tool to help turn more bays. Uh, some quick si a side comment about the eDiag if you have a smartphone, you can connect to this via Bluetooth and have all the same functionality as the S500. With that, you have a good choice in either one of these. And if you like muscle cars, if you like classic cars, if you like Chevelles and chargers, if you like scan tools, if you like DIY repair, Fresh Vintage is your channel. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.